Hi, and welcome to this TikiWiki tracker tutorial. My name is Chris, and I wanted to show you how to create a tracker database and view information on a wiki page. I am in no way a Tiki specialist like uh, Bernard Svez. He knows way more than I do, um, but I've enjoyed watching his videos. He knows quite a bit. Um, I'm just a guy that's been learning by trial and error. There is a bunch of documentation on, about TikiWiki, but sometimes it's just nice to see an example. And I noticed there weren't too many video tutorials online. Um, as I've been digging, diving deeper into what TikiWiki has to offer, I've been blown away by all of its capabilities, especially since you know it's an open source software. Uh, I work for a manufacturing company, and I've started using TikiWiki as a way to instruct how to build a product. Then I found out about trackers, which were amazing, and I was able to store data and make forms with limited coding skills. We have molding machines, and I thought they would be the simplest way to show you how to use trackers to help log their information. The product example contains three steps that go through three different molding machines to get the final product. We'll do a pre-mold, a second pre-mold, and then an over-mold. This isn't exactly how we make a product. I thought it just would be an easy example. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to enable the trackers. So to do that, you go to Settings, Control Panel, go to Features, and then you'll see trackers right here. And go ahead and check the box and hit Apply. Okay, now you'll see that the trackers is over here. Um, then we are gonna, we're going to go to List Trackers. And so pretty much trackers are databases. Um, and they have you know different field types. Um, so if we go to create, we'll call this molding database. Okay. I'll hit save. So now there's our tracker, our molding database. Okay, so you know each database has to have um, fields. So we'll add a field and we'll call this um, date. And um, you know, so each database has different type field types. So we're gonna make this uh, date and time with a date picker. We'll go to add field, okay. And then the next one we'll make um, we'll call it work order, okay. Uh, oh, oops! I actually want to make this a numeric field, not a text field. So right now, I don't think, let's see, if you go to advanced um, under the field type, you can't change it to the numeric field. So if you do want to change it, um, you can either delete this. Uh, you can actually delete this by clicking on here and then clicking OK. Or you can actually go to settings, control panel. And then you can type in uh, tracker field, hit search. And we want to go to where, yeah, change field types. So you just have to be careful because if you uh, enable this and let's say you change a text field to a numeric field, you might actually lose all your data. So that's why this is unchecked originally. But since I'm setting up the database or the tracker, I am going to check that so that um, I can just easily change it um, because we're not going to add any data right now. Okay, hit apply. Okay, tracker change field type enabled. Um, we'll just have to remember to do this uh, when we're done with everything, uh, is to uncheck it. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, so just make sure you uncheck it when we're done adding the fields. Okay, we'll go back to our trackers, molding database, fields, and we'll go to this work order. And now if you go to advanced, you should be able to change it now. Let's see. Yeah, numeric field. Okay, save. We'll add another field. We'll call it um, part number, and we'll make that a text field because we might because we have uh, numbers and letters. Add field. Okay, we'll add another field. We'll call it machine, and we'll make it a drop down field. 
add another one. We'll make it uh, plastic. We'll also make this a drop down as well. I'll go through more details in, in a second here. Okay, and then we'll do um, front temperature. We'll make that a numeric field. That field. Add another one. Do a uh, mid temperature. Make that a num numeric field as well. And last. Make that a numeric field as well. Okay, add field. Okay, so um, this is you know just a very basic example, um, but um, what I've also noticed is they give you a permanent name right here. This is Mullen database. So if you actually um, go here and go to advanced, here's the permanent name. Now I've had a little bit of um, issues with um, if the permanent name gets too long. Apparently the uh, or Tiki Wiki doesn't like it, and I get a bunch of errors. So I'm actually going to change it. Um, I'm actually going to change it to represent um, the ID number. So what I'm going to do is go to date, advanced, and instead of this, I'm going to just do F underscore one. Save. I'm going to do that for the rest of these. Okay, there's a couple things I want to do um, before we actually enter any data. So I'm going to change the date options. I'm going to say the default value, I'm going to put it to the item creation date so it automatically inputs uh, a, a date for us. Um, type, I'm going to say just date only. And then we'll hit save. Okay, let's see. And then for the drop down, you're going to have to add options for the drop down and you um, you can just separate them by a comma. So machine one, machine two, machine three. Hit save. And then I'm going to do the plastic. Option for drop down. We're going to say um, polypropylene, polypropylene, HPR, polyurethane, and PVC. We'll say that. So these are just different types of plastics. You don't really know this, but this is just for an example. Hit, hit save. Don't forget to turn off the change tracker field types when you're done entering fields in your database. All right, now if we go to the items in the tracker uh, in the molding database, I'm going to create an item. So I'm actually going to pre fill the date for me. Work order can only be a number. Okay, so because we made a numeric field, so I'm just gonna say one, two, three, four, five. Part number this is zero, five, one, three, two, two. R machine, we'll say machine one. Plastic, we'll say yeah, polypropylene. Three eighty, three seventy, three sixty. Okay, I'm gonna do create, and now we got our first item. Um, so. Right now it just shows the date. So if we actually want to change it, we can go to the fields and we want um, the title to be the work order, which is what we see. Um, and we're actually going to make these all mandatory. So I'm just going to click all these. So you have to fill them out. And uh, so let's try that. Uh, title list. I think we'll make this. We'll, we'll make both of them. So lists will actually show when you go to the tracker database, it'll actually show these two values now. So I'll hit save all. And then now if we go to items, now it'll show both the date and the work order. Okay, and so if the title is checked, so we'll go back to the fields. If the title is checked right here, that means that you can actually click on it and it'll bring you into the item. See how this is now a link. So if we click on it, there's our info. Okay, let's go to the items. Okay, so right now it's going to be putting me uh, putting a comma in, in this number, and I don't want to do that. So let's go to fields, and we can actually change that by going through the numeric field work order options for numeric field. Now I'm going to say no separator. Hit save. Let's go to items. 
Okay, so I'm also going to make, um, you can actually change the order. It doesn't have to be in this order. You can actually drag and click and put it up here. And then you can actually just make sure you have to save all. Let's save. So now if you go to the items, it'll show the listed link as the first item. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, a couple extra items. So let's call this uh, one, two, three, four, six. Part number, we'll say 041325-B. Machine, we'll say machine two, say TPR, say uh, three, 360, 340, create. All right, so this concludes part one of this tracker tutorial. Uh, continue on to part two to learn how to incorporate uh, the database into a wiki page.